as you see, I start with the just very brief outline of what we have and after that I start with the clouds. Don't try to make it exactly like you see them. We want to just learn how we draw the uh, clouds. As you see, I'm coming with the white and the top part is white, white, the light, light. And when we are coming to the medium part of the middle of this, I don't uh, make it very, very uh, white. Then this is medium part. And after that, in the bottom part is that I'm using a little of the black charcoal to make it darker. The edges of the clouds are important. Remember that don't make it like a kindergarten part of the uh, cloud that it's just the same circle, circle shape. Uh, make the clouds with a more uh, naturalistic shape of them. Uh, the bottom part that you see doesn't have to be very dark just a little dark and it's not just in the bottom part even in the middle we see that the uh, clouds is look like that they overlap each other then we can come with the clouds on top of the clouds to make it dark and medium and light for the trees start with the just a gesture of them then we are making just very simple gesture shape of the trees and after that is that I'm making with the dark uh, charcoal with the black charcoal some marks you see that I'm making marks on top of them I'm, and I'm not trying to make the real shape of their leaves it's like a mark making on top of these some marks that uh, can be organic just gesture the organic shapes uh, in the right part of the drawing I'm starting with lighter colors don't make it very dark and as I'm coming closer to the front I'm making it with the darker marks you can see the marks and you see that with your marks it's look like that you're going in different different direction not just with one direction don't make it like that uh, all of them are horizontal marks or vertical lines it's mark making is like you're going with the different curves in the different uh, part of the uh, trees and for the larger one, okay, we are, I'm coming with the trunk and making the trunk a little by little thicker. In the top part is thinner, in the bottom part is thicker. And after that, I'm adding some branches, small branches, and again, mark making. I'm not making the shape of the leaves it's a mark making you're going with a different direction uh, with your hands it's look like that you want to dance with the uh, with your hands and with your charcoal making small branches and it's and uh, cover some part of the trunk cover some part of the branches and let's we see other parts as we are getting closer, the mark is darker and different. You see that first layer, it was the lighter gray. And after that, on top of them, I make some of them with the darker gray. Even we are getting uh, closer, I will add some white, some reflection to that too. In the bottom part of tree, we have some angle on the uh, earth then coming with the same angle with your charcoal to create these angles we have shadow of the trees here and i'm creating the shadows i 
I'm gonna keep a part of this with more grayish colors and I can see more contrast over uh, the underdog. Again, you see that the first layer is not very dark and I'm putting the first layer, it's not dark, really dark, but I'm gonna come on top of this and create on the bottom part of each, each uh, um, it's like a bunch of the leaves and each of them that it's like a different shapes has lighter in the top part and in the bottom part, they are darker. And I'm making darker um, area in the bottom part of each bunch of the tree. In the outline of this, I'm trying to come a little outside of these lines and making some uh, marks that we can see the illusion of the leaves. And after that, you can come with the white and uh, making more reflection on the leaves. I'm mostly making the shadow that they are closer to the tree darker and when they're getting farther from the trees they must be lighter then it's not the same value in the shadow And creating some details next to the river and I want to a little showing the difference between the uh, river and the other part but first I have to cover and create the again it's a, like a, we have an angle then I have to show this angle with my marks with my shading the shading I'm doing in the second part is a darker part, but not as detailed as we have in the larger one in the left part. Some a little of details for the part that we have more planned. And again, this part that I'm doing is I'm trying to make a just very first layer uh, of the everything that it's closer to the river. And on the river, you see that I'm making some strokes of the white. Uh, and then be sure that on the water, your strokes is showing horizontal shape of the uh, strokes. If you're making it with the angles, it's look like that your rivers, the river has a, some kind of the angle on the water. The top part of the rod, uh, river, the top part of the water is always horizontal. It's stay horizontal. We have wave on this. It's, the waves can go in the different ways, but water is horizontal. Then uh, this is a, some kind of the tricky part that you uh, just have to know that what are you doing. Again, on the water, we are coming with the reflections that showing the water. I start with the white, coming with the, some darkness, 
then because the reverse uh, directions coming from the four toward us i'm gonna just showing with the some shapes and marks the movement of the water the reflection of whatever that we have on the waters is remember that it's coming completely uh, vertical and uh, don't make it with the continue the shape just break the shapes because the river is moving and the shadow of whatever that we have on this they are breaking then that's why that we are using of the implied line on them and implied shapes For the part that it's closer to us and it's with the grass and everything, um, then first try to make a, a, some part of the shades light and dark. Then wherever that it's darker, make a very general dark and light. We are not making the uh, grass on this one by one. First, we are making shades. Uh, and then we're gonna add some marks like a, gr a grass on top of them you have more time than me you can make it with uh, more details beautiful and again remember that we are not just starting to make the uh, shape of the grass with the very straight line straight line they are they have some kind of the wavy shape and each of these line that you see the top part is thinner than the bottom part that as you're working just do it and try to uh, as much as possible your grass be you know more wavy uh, than be very straight straight lines i'm using of the side of charcoal here the corner side of the charcoal to make this grass and in the end some flower shapes that we have here you can add more if you want but some of the grass that they are closer to us we have the details of the shadow and light and we have some reflection on this that that's why that i'm coming with the white charcoal in the end to uh, make it complete okay 